Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Buyer's Guide, proudly brought to you by Change Cars. Joining us in the studio this week are two of Buyer's Guide's stalwarts, Alan Rosemeyer from Motor Matters and of course, Michael Pashut from Change Cars. Guys, good to have you back in studio again. Good to Appreciate be here, thank you. Good, hopefully we've got some great info out of you today. We're going to kick off things from Lesejo, who's got a question he would like to buy a robust, reliable SUV that his wife can drive to work, which they can use for holidays in the bush uh, twice a year. And he's found a 2015 Land Rover Freelander SI4 with 81,000 Ks on the clock, which is selling for 350,000 Rand. He'd like to know... Would this be a great buy for the family? 2015, very nice kilos. He's found the right example if his heart is set on a Freelander. Yes. My personal feeling, the Freelander 2 was not one of Land Rover's better products. That's why we don't have a Freelander 3. Yes. <laughs> Before I tell you what else to buy. <laughs> call it now Discovery Sport. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Alan, what do you think of that? Oh, look, Freelander generally. The first one was a total disaster. The second one was a little bit better. But no, don't go Freelander. That's as simple as that. So... So uh, if I said to yeah. you, give us some other options. I gave you 350,000 right. rand. I said, go buy an SUV that I can go to the bush with, a wife can drive family. Um, even brand new, what would you chuck him in? Well, brand new, you've got to look at the Cherry Tigo 4, first Absolutely. of all. Absolutely, not even a question. Would be the first one you go look at. You can go look at the Havals. Yeah. Uh, they're in that same price range as well. Or you go slightly smaller if you want to go Japanese or Korean or whatever. Uh, Kia Sonnet would be a nice one to look at along the way. And there's a plethora of them. To Toyota Urban Cruisers, Suzuki Vitara Brezas, all of those fit into that category. Buyer's Guide is brought to you by Change Cars, the only platform in South Africa that works exclusively with manufacturer-backed dealerships. There's no better online platform. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. If he does want a bit bigger and he says to go to the bush, you've got to look at Fortuna, Everest or Pajero Sport then. Yeah, and so these, now we're talking um, new cars yeah. and relatively low mileage second-hand cars. Correct. Would you chuck something else in there? The reason he's looking at a Freelander, clearly he wants something premium. Yeah. And the Freelander is premium and perceived as premium. I would look at the BMW X1 in that category. If he was looking for something alternative, and not new. Good option, but down the X1, you've got to look at like a, a X1 two liter diesel. Two liter that's, diesel, that's the strongest correct. One, if you want premium. But then again, you know, you mentioned some yeah. good stuff like a Pajero Sport, maybe a bit of a push to try and get um, in that sort mm -hmm. of 350 mm -hmm. budget. But like, oh, you can, hey? That's the, that's the older spec that's one. The, older the spec newer one. one is the better one. But he was talking a 2015 uh, yeah. Freelander, yes. so he's not scared of going yes. so 2016 six, seven years is old. a year yeah. younger as well. Correct, yeah. Now, if you're concerned about cars that you're not too sure of, like we mentioned the Tigo, mm. because it doesn't have a history of reliability, we don't know if it's any good. If you want to look at good, reliable cars, take 350 grand and see what a fantastic C CRV Honda you'd buy for that money. And what a fantastic RAV4 you'd buy for yes. that money. I noted the RAV4 if he does want maybe four-wheel four -wheel drive or whatever for yeah. Bush. You're not going to have the problem of, oh, maybe two, three years' time you're going to get a 50,000 Rand repair bill. So it's a no-brainer. Not that the, the Freelander 2 is, is a shocking car, but there is the risk that something can go pop, and then it's big money. The other it's problem that mm. I've got, sorry to interrupt, the yeah. other problem that I've got with the Freelander 2, it's a car that came out in 2006. It does look dated. The dashboard, yeah. the technology, mm. it's not a car that looks like a 350,000 Rand product today, I'm in my you. opinion. I actually, I had one in my workshop a couple of weeks ago and I actually drove it around and it was one of the, the newer ones. And I just thought, mm, it's just it looks a bit dated. Yeah, it looks dated. It's dated very quickly. It's dated very quickly. Take right. Alan's advice. He gave great advice. Then. Buyer's Guide is brought to you by Change Cars, the only platform in South Africa that works exclusively with manufacturer-backed dealerships. There's no better online platform. That's not an opinion. That's a fact.